Hey guys, it's 75 Row. Welcome back for more Let's Play Pokemon Mr. and Red Rescue Team in the last episode. We got some great items. And, oh yeah, the earthquake. That was a scary earthquake. Yeah, Groudon is powerful, but we're more powerful now that we got the move Ice Beam. We have to do what we can, so let's do our best with the rescue team. Um, uh, um, uh, um, I'm Why Not, and this is... Wow, Buffett! <laughs> We had a notice on the bulletin board in the Pelipper Post Office. Wah, Buffett! <laughs> please look at us for me. Please, please. Wah, Buffett! Please help me. Why not? I'm, I have to go. Wah, Buffett! <laughs> so good! <laughs> oh my god. What was that all about? <laughs> Did you say it was a why not? I think you wanted to look at the bulletin board. <laughs> Only one thing to do! <laughs> oh my god, that was brilliant. Let's see what we can sell. The Kachelion! Ooh, stamina band goes for a lot. Let's sell our uh, Insomniscope. And then we can see what he has to buy. Also, stamina bands go for a lot of money, but they are very useful. Um, secret power. Ew, two thieves? Why would I need two thieves, stupid? Um, uh, let's buy something. I, you've got nothing. So, you're dumb. Uh, how much money do we have? We have a lot of money. Okay, so I'm going to store a few things, and I'm going to take out our two TMs that we have. So I'm going to store my stamina band, my two link boxes, my insomniscope, and a power band. And I will take out our two big items that we got, Thunderbolt and Ice Beam. And I'm not taking Taunt. Debutant. Yes! No! I would like to not do anything at all. Um, let's see, items. We're gonna go to Ice Beam, we're gonna use on Swampy, and we are going to get rid of Growl. Because Ice Beam is much better. And we're gonna teach Thunderbolt to me. But what to get rid of? That's the question. Because if I get rid of Thundershock, I have another electric move, but I have less attacking moves. But I don't want to get rid of Thunder Wave, and Quick Attack's good, and Dig's good. Yeah, I'll get rid of Thundershock, I don't really care. Now, the thing that's different about Thunderbolt and Ice Beam. Ice Beam is a ranged attack, so it can hit multiple distances, like Quick Attack. And Thunderbolt hits all the enemies around you, so it's much more useful than um, Thundershock in certain situations which we are about to see. For example, in our next dungeon, we will be introducing a thing called Monster Houses, and those things, well, I'll explain it when we get there, because it's much more clear when we get there. Punish Bad Mankey. That is the one you want to get. You want to accept the Uproar Forest one, because that will be the next one you want to get. There was a job posted on the bullet where he said, Punch Bad Mankey. Did you two put that up? Yup, yup. Wow, Buffett! <laughs> a Mankey gang is running around the forest. Everyone's upset. Wow, Buffett! <laughs> we don't know why they rampage around. They're always angry when they, when they attack they see. Wow, Buffett! Oh no, that is a problem. All right, we should go. We should go fix Wabafet's voice, because obviously it's bad. Thank you, we're counting on you, why not? Wow, Buffett! Uh, the place we're making is... Uproar Forest is now open for our investigation! And now with that, we have something to do today! Verb? <laughs> you see what I did there, guys? You see what I did? Now, I really don't know when I'm gonna get to the rest of the Makuhita Dungeon, or Makuhita Dojo stuff, but you know, it, it's not all that bad. Anyway, I'm gonna go get Matt, and then we will be on our way. Now, um, in case you're wondering, Matt, the rescue, the friend area zone, I'm gonna be covering that m once I get all of the ones in story mode. And once I do that, then we can do that. Anyway, Roar Forest. This dungeon is only 10 floors, so it's really not that big. It's got a boss at the end, which is just 10 Mankey, but it's difficult for a different reason. In the last game. Oh crap, I need to set my move. Okay. Um, I'm gonna move you. So, um, R and. Uh, 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 okay. So, uh, I'm gonna set you to 
at you. For now, because Thunderbolt is a lot more powerful than Thundershock. Let's put it that way. Thunderbolt um, hits eight enemies all around you, like I said. And it's just, it's better. It's much better. And this dungeon, uh, like I said, has some things called monster houses, which basically what he does, you know what? Wait, I'm going to Um. Oh, God. Um, basically, those are scary things. And there's another dungeon. Okay. I see how this is going to be. Just me going around, and I'm going to break because a lot of these things are like bunny points. This is really weird. Um. I really don't know what to set now, because, like, ever since Thundershock 17 is, like, gone, it's really weird. Um, really quickly, I should tell you that. Oh, God. Earthquake. That is bad. Earthquake is really good. <laughs> uh, yeah. Also, really quickly, one item you're going to be wanting to look for on, on the ninth floors, or floor 9, is uh, an item called a chestnut. It's only found here, and you need three of them. What are you doing, Scott? You're just killing yourself. Growth is not helping you in this game. I know it's giving fun. It's not good. I'm just saying. Why is there a sandstorm on this floor? It doesn't make any sense to me why there's a sandstorm on this floor. And I started on the stairs. Rosalia, exclusive to Red Rescue Team. If you were playing Blue Rescue Team, you'd find A-Poms. I've said that. Um, see that. I see that. Yeah. Right. The thing about Seagull's Earthquake, though, is that it's really weak. Like, it's laughably weak. And I am going to set Thunderbolt. Yeah. The thing is, the problem is you're going to want a lot of max elixirs if you're running a set like I do with very limited PP. That way you're going to want. And Max Fish, not like a boss. Like, honestly, I probably should name Sloppy Max, because, yeah, you know. Ooh, bless it. I can eat you and throw them at you. Or people. Pekka berries. I don't know if they're called Pika or Pekka. I don't know if Pekka. I call them gauntlets and I call them Pekka. Also, if anyone is ever curious where that thing, uh, I call them gauntlets, sorry, it's really useless. It's incredibly useless. Wow, I just stole it. Thank you. Like, already, you can tell that Thunderbolt does a lot more than Thundershock. Okay, good. Cheers. The thing about uh, this dungeon, Monster Houses, if you encounter a room with, like, these water tiles, like, there's three of them, and, like, I have two items in there, it's probably going to be a Monster House. So when you do that, avoid them. Like, really, avoid them. Like, the plague. If you are not prepared, you will be screwed. And when I say screwed, I mean to the point of where, like, you will die if you didn't bring any revivers to these, and you will use them all in the same turn. Because it's, like, ten enemies at once. And that's not good. Like, at all. And that's no good. <laughs> uh, kids. Oh, there's a Maggie. But it's pointless. I'm going to set big because I want Thunderbolt to be in. Um, again, you're going to want to find chestnuts because otherwise you're going to have to come back here and want them. Glad this place wasn't a monster house. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, what can I get rid of? I can eat your feet. So we use the steel feet. Another raw berry. Um, what can I get rid of? Uh, it's not going to be. Growth, the most pointless move in my game. Like, don't use it, girl. Get it. That's ice cream. Woo, man, sloppy. I forgot how amazing ice cream is. <laughs> I love me some good old ice cream. Uh, where is our stairs? Did I really just say, where is our stairs? Where is our stairs? Also, um, I see a lot of sloppy now. We have a move that when I am dig... When I am dig... Are you kidding me? When I am digging, it allows me to attack. Or I think it does. I don't know, actually. Uh... And sloppy is not going to be keeping uh, water and mud flat very much longer. Um, later in the game, you will get better moves. Let's put it that way. It was just on the right now. Upper force 9. I think this is the first floor you can actually encounter a monster house. But this floor also has chestnuts. It's just not moving. Look at them. It's just not moving. Look at them. So, look for at least one. I would recommend trying to find at least one of them. Before you leave the floor, if there aren't any, well then you're terrible. Bro, you're dead. You're, you is dead. It's the force of bad grammar. <laughs> you speak good grammar? That's a chestnut. Get one. Your life will be so much easier if you get a chestnut. If you get a chestnut, you will be a happy possum. Um, I think, I really hope I can find another. Yeah, I want to find another chestnut. If I can't find another chestnut, I'm fine with that. Because chestnuts are good. Nikes are bad. Remember that, kids. Now, so there's three moves that can set <laughs> Yeah. Chris, no chestnuts. So it looks like we are going to have to come back here for more chestnut hunting. Like I said, pick up chestnuts. And here's our boss. Right? <laughs> Wait, is it you? We don't like to brag, but we got furious. We are losing it all that. We really irritate us this weird jump dim with your face. Rawr! The vegan expression. Gwaw, it's taking me off. I'm seeing red. I'm seeing red again. So, if this means anything to how pathetic the boss is, the music is Tiny Woods. This boss is pathetic. It is so pathetic, in fact, it dies in like three moves. It makes no sense. And this is probably the easiest boss in the game. I mean, look at that. I grew to level 19. <laughs> I grew a level on a boss of this caliber. It's it's not even a boss. It's a bo it's a muck in boss's clothing. That's what it is. Like we promised, we show the Mega Gang. Do not be alone. Everyone, thank you. Why not for everything? Why the fuck? Yes, we're filled with gratitude. This is our thanks. We got a chestnut. A peeled chestnut. This is a peeled chestnut. Yes, it's a peeled chestnut. You see, we we don't have any money. Blah, blah, blah. So we can only give you a chestnut. Are you unhappy? 
Oh um, no, we're fine with this. Peeled chestnuts are delicious. I think they're great. A little money would've been nice. Uh, hey you! Oh crap, it's the Mikeys! Wobble fat? That Mikey gang, they chase us here just to beat us up. That's right, you! You got lucky, don't mess with us! We're not gonna lose this time, we'll pulverize you! Look at it. Oh! Whoa! Look at that! Chestnut! It is! That's a real chestnut! Whisper, whisper. Mudder, 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 mudder. They look like they're having a discussion. Lava fat. What's going on? Oh, uh, listen. You got something we want. The peeled chestnut you have? Can we have it? We uh, love peeled chestnuts. Like, we love them so much we can't afford a life without chestnuts. Yeah, and you know how love chestnuts have a strange smell that hurts. We end up looking at our tempers. That's why we're asking. Can we leave it in tough shot? We'll do whatever you want. Mm, what do you think? Should we give him our peeled chestnut? No! What? You won't give it up for us? Who do you think you are? <laughs> Roy was suddenly attacked by the Mega Gang. However, the Mega Gang was weak. Dang right it was. <laughs> ow, 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 we lost. <laughs> Maybe we can't do this. You have to understand, we love peeled chestnuts. These will do anything for them. Hmm, what do you think? Should we give them a gift? <laughs> no! It's a but thou must. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> Maybe we can't do this. You have to understand. <laughs> you know what? Let's give him our chestnut. Yeah, okay. I know. Listen, Maggie, how about you with physical labor? Physical labor? You mean muscle work? We have muscles. No, you don't. But we don't like it. For that peeled chestnut. Okay, here's what we'll do. We rescue team base, something more impressive. Rescue team base? That's right! Our rescue team base. If you would help us, we would give you the peeled chestnut. How's that sound? Whisper, whisper. Mudder, 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 mudder. Gary, I'm gonna rub chocolate frosting over your biceps, Gary. Okay, we'll help. So now, our rescue team base is being built. Hand over the peeled chestnut. What's our help? Were you listening to us the whole time? I'll help too. Wow, a fat! I felt bad because we only had a peeled chestnut as your reward. Wow, a fat! Sniff. Thanks, everybody. Okay, let's go move on. Okay. Okay. Hey, yo, yeah! And so, construction work began on the rescue team base of Roy's Team Storm. Several days later. Wow. They really did a number on that. That was fast. Woo! I missed come along quickly. What a fit! We all remember this. What a fit! Fuuuuck! But there's still lots to do. There's still lots of good things to do. What a fit! That's true. But we're not getting close, right? Uh huh? Where's the Mega Gang? What? Uh, over there. Uh, there. Lying on the job, eh? What's the matter? We need those little rivals. Don't want them. Why not? Because I don't want them. This work's too boring. How do you keep going? Yeah, that's right. We don't want to argue with anyone. I change your mind if you have more peeled chestnuts. What's this about? We just can't be bothered. We need peeled chestnuts to motivate us. We have a problem. I think they won't work unless they get a peeled chestnut. Really, Swampy? Really? And that's why you gotta find chestnuts. I would like to say my adventure, thank you, and good night. Anyway, now that we have all that, in the next episode, we will hopefully find some more chestnuts to feed the Ranky King. See you guys later.